The Mechanical Menagerie In a world where the line between science and art blurred into a tapestry of wonder, there existed a place known as the Mechanical Menagerie. It was not an ordinary zoo of living creatures, but a sanctuary of mechanical marvels, a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. The mechanical menagerie was the brainchild of a visionary inventor named Alara. From a young age, Alara had been captivated by the intricate beauty of gears, cogs, and springs. She believed that machines could be more than mere tools. They could be living works of art, capable of capturing the essence of life itself. Alara's journey to create the mechanical menagerie was one of tireless dedication and unwavering belief. She spent years mastering the craft of mechanical engineering, studying the movements of animals, and understanding the intricacies of their behavior. She was determined to breathe life into her creations to make them more than just cold steel and gears. Each inhabitant of the mechanical menagerie was a masterpiece of engineering. There were mechanical birds that flapped their wings with a grace that rivaled their living counterparts, mechanical insects that scurried with uncanny precision, and mechanical fish that swam in glass tanks with a fluidity that defied belief. But the true marvel of the mechanical menagerie was not just the lifelike movements of its inhabitants, it was their ability to evoke emotions in those who visited. Alara had painstakingly crafted each machine to mimic the behaviors and personalities of their living counterparts. The mechanical songbirds chirped melodious tunes, the mechanical butterflies danced on the breeze, and the mechanical dolphins leaped from their pools with a joyous exuberance that left visitors in awe. Visitors from all corners of the world came to the mechanical menagerie, drawn by the allure of Alara's creations. They marveled at the ingenuity of her mechanical animals and were moved by the lifelike qualities that made them feel as though they were in the presence of living creatures. Among the visitors was a young artist named Lucius. He had always been inspired by the beauty of the natural world and sought to capture it in his paintings. When he entered the mechanical menagerie, he was struck not only by the technical brilliance of Alara's creations, but also by the emotional depth they conveyed. Lucius spent days wandering through the mechanical menagerie, sketching the mechanical animals and observing their lifelike behaviors. He was captivated by the way they stirred his emotions, evoking a sense of wonder and connection to the natural world. As Lucius immersed himself in his art, he realized that the mechanical menagerie was not just a testament to human ingenuity, but a celebration of the beauty and complexity of life itself. Alara's creations were not mere machines, they were a bridge between the world of science and the world of art, a reminder that the boundaries between the two were not as rigid as they seemed. Lucius's time at the mechanical menagerie inspired him to create a series of paintings that captured the essence of Alara's creations. His art celebrated the harmony between nature and technology the way in which human creativity could breathe life into the mechanical and the mechanical could awaken the human spirit. As Lucius's paintings gained recognition, they brought the mechanical menagerie to the attention of the world. Alara's vision of a sanctuary where art and science coexisted had become a reality, a place where visitors could not only marvel at the wonders of engineering but also be moved by the beauty of the natural world. The mechanical menagerie became a symbol of the limitless possibilities of human creativity, a testament to the idea that machines could be more than tools, they could be living works of art that touched the human soul. And as visitors from all walks of life continued to be captivated by Alara's creations, 
they left with a profound appreciation for the delicate balance between technology and nature, a balance that could inspire wonder and awe in the hearts of all who beheld it.